like Roberto Fontanez. People call me Berto. I'm actually the owner of 9 out of 10 Condition Sneaker Boutique. I've been into streetwear, clothes, shoes, everything for as long as I can remember. I've worked retail almost my entire life. When I started working for like the corporate side of it, I kind of lost interest in it. I loved what I did. I just didn't like who I did it for anymore. That's when I started saying, you know, I'm just gonna open up my own store. About 2015, I wanna say, I started buying shoes, little by little. Every extra cash I had, I went to like sneaker shows, I did meetups with Craigslist, Facebook, everything to buy shoes. And I told myself, as soon as I reach 200 pairs of shoes, that's when I opened up the store. So little by little, you know, from 2015, 2016 came and it happened. I had more than 200 pairs of shoes. I'm like, all right, can't be a bitch now about it, you know? <laughs> Gotta, you know, complete the plan. So I started looking for a little spot. I found a spot in Towson. I fell in love with it just because it was a small spot and it was really cool, low key. It was just like the craziest looking shop because it was really tiny. It wasn't a storefront. The entrance to the building was on the side of the building. So you didn't even know it was there. The only way you knew about us there is social media and word of mouth. When I found the spot, I put in my two weeks notice for a finish line. I was scared as hell to like open up the shop. I didn't know if it was gonna work out. Two weeks later, opened up the shop. It was uh, May 27th, 2016. And within less than six months, we were busting through the wall. From then, I found the other spot in Pigtown, and again, within another year, busted through that spot, and this is where we're at now. Just seeing the growth from Towson to Washington Boulevard and now to Light Street, just it's crazy. That's probably the best thing I've seen here. Welcome to 9 out of 10. New location. Let's give it up for Berto for giving the best sneaker store in Baltimore. When I found this place and I seen those two bay windows, I'm like, this is it. Those two bay windows just drove me insane just for the fact that, it, to me, it was like the epitome of what an old school mom and pop sneaker store is like. And when I walked in and I seen that it had already all of the walls like this, um, I'm like, this is like where we're supposed to be. Grand opening was insane. The amount of people that are waiting in line just to come shop with us was just, was great. I kind of like, I'm like, oh man, I, I hope there's a lot of people there. I'm like, no, there's not gonna be a lot of people here. You know, we'll probably get people filtering in all day and it's gonna be cool and everything. But when I walked outside for the grand opening and I seen the line all the way to, I was like, wow. <laughs> I, I, I literally like shut a tear, seriously. I was like, this is so crazy. People could go anywhere to buy sneakers and buy, you know, clothing and everything. But for them to choose us, that right there is just, is just awesome. I get like butterflies in my stomach. And somebody tells me they had a really great experience here. It's just, that's, that's what I live for, honestly. For me, it's seeing somebody in here going through the racks and they hit that piece and their face lights up. And you just can tell that all of a sudden, whether they know vintage, don't know vintage, all of a sudden they just gravitate to that piece. And that's special. When you do that, you're bringing something to somebody in a different way where they really connect to that item. It's not just a, you know, a t-shirt that, you know, maybe you buy in a mall. It's, it's much more than that. And a lot of the times talking with a customer, you start to understand, oh, well, why did you gravitate towards that piece? Well, oh, I like the graphics. I, li I like the, the band. I like the way it was distressed. I like the fact that there was holes in it. Those little things connect the consumer to the product in a much different way. When you're buying vintage, you're, you're actually buying recycled goods. So in a way, you know, it's not only awesome to see a customer buying something like that, but also the fact that it's not buying something that's new. It's buying something that was probably loved by someone else and now going to be loved by the person purchasing it. I think that's something that's so special. Seeing people really appreciate the item is what motivates me to keep you know, going out and finding items and, and making sure that the curated selection is, is the best selection for the people that come into this store. When you're in here and people are in here and you, know, you see the, the way that people are interacting with one another, it really brings the community together in a much different way because you have people from all different paths of life that come in here and they can have conversations whether it's about clothing and fashion or about shoes and it's bringing people together in a much different way and you can see it through the interactions in the store and I think that that's something that's 
so special. When you come in here, you really don't feel like you have to buy something. You feel as though you know, you're just part of the family inside this store, and that's something that, that really, I think, sets this store apart from maybe other places. I feel like I gotta give somebody the best customer service in the world so that they'll be able to spend their hard earned money with me. I get parents in here all the time like, oh my son loves your store, he follows you on Instagram. I came in here to buy him something but I don't know what to buy him and I'm like, well let me see his Instagram, let me see what he's into and I could tell you maybe this is what he's gonna like and I'll tell them something about it and they, they thank me. They're like, oh my God, thank you, we just learned something today. You know, I think that's just really awesome. As far as like the sneaker culture, I honestly feel like we give back just for the fact that we're here for people that are into sneakers, into like street wear, into vintage gear, for a place that they could come get items at a reasonable price. Everybody just shows us love because they know that there's a spot you could chill at, <laughs> and there's a spot you could have fun, talk sneakers, lay back, relax, and you come here and shop. <laughs> if you take a look around the shop and you come in the shop and you get that experience, there's a different experience that you get here than any other shop or just any shoe store in general. You really never know what's gonna come in through that door. It's just really, really cool because I've seen stuff from like old vintage, clothing and like rap tees and stuff like that and then I've seen OGs of like old Jordans, old Grails, crazy Yeezys and just stuff that you do not see too often so it's really really cool. You really don't know what you're gonna see. The best memory I have is the look on the customer's face when they walk in and they tell me wow this place is freaking awesome. Just hearing that from a customer's mouth it drives me insane. I take real pride in that because I did it. After I closed the other shop, like at night, I would come here and get it ready to be open. I didn't hire someone to do the build out. I did it myself. So I'm really proud of everything that's in this store. So I just want people to see it. Just because you don't know a lot about it, you shouldn't be discouraged from going out and learning about it. Everyone's path is going to be different, but I think that when you talk about, you know, whether it's learning about shoes or vintage clothing, it does take time and it is a process. When you come in here, yeah, you may not know a lot about it, but if you ask the questions, you never know where that conversation may lead and you never know what information you may obtain. Come in and hang out for a little bit and just see people talk listen to conversations, join in conversations. If you're really passionate about it, you're going to learn. I like to consider we have the best prices in town when it comes to a store like this. I feel that we pay out the most when it comes to people that are selling to us compared to other shops that are like us as well. You're gonna get really good customer service and you're gonna get really good conversation when you come in here, not only with me, but with Anthony and Tyler, who's here on the weekends with his vintage gear. All I gotta say is come into the store and just check us out. If you wanna buy something cool, if you wanna look around the shop and look at all the cool like displays that we have, the music that's playing, or just come in just to talk to us and say hello, just come on in. I don't expect everyone to buy something when they come in here. If they buy something, cool it's a bonus but if they don't I just like the fact that people come in and are able to even just look at the shop that's right there is what I love hey,